There's a new firmware update for the Nikon Z6 and Nikon Z7, and it's a must if you're looking to get the best out of your camera's video capabilities. I'll let you know everything that there is to know about this firmware update and how to go about updating your camera. But before I get into it, remember, come visit us here at the Digital Gojo showroom in Miami, and don't forget we publish new content weekly, so subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. So there are two parts to this firmware update. Uh, the first part that I'm gonna talk about is a free update that anybody is able to do for their Z6 and Z7. After, we're gonna talk about this really exciting update for ProRes RAW from Nikon. That's gonna be a paid update, so stay tuned for that. So the first part, which is a free update, is updating your camera to version 2.2. Uh, this is going to update your camera to the latest version. So if you haven't done any firmware updates to your Z6 or Z7, uh, this will allow you to update to the latest and most current update. It's going to add support for Type B Sony CFast Express memory cards. Now these are the newest type of memory cards available. They're the same size as the XQD cards, uh, but it adds compatibility for them. With these new cards, you're going to get faster read write speeds and higher storage. Before updating the camera, make sure to have a fully charged battery and a memory card reader for the XQD card uh, and a formatted memory card. Once you formatted the memory card in your camera, you can insert the card into the card reader for your computer and head over to the Nikon website. We'll put all the links for the Z6 and Z7 in the description box below. So make sure to select either the Z6 or Z7. The process for updating the firmware is gonna be the same. You're gonna make sure to hit firmware and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's version 2.2. Then you're gonna click view download page. From there, you're gonna select the proper operating system that you're using, whether it's Windows or Mac OS. Uh, Nikon does offer a step-by-step -step guide for updating the firmware, so I do recommend checking that out if you have any further questions. Once you're on this page, you're gonna scroll down all the way to the end user license agreement and I'm gonna recommend either reading it or you can scroll all the way down, but I do recommend reading it before you download the firmware. Hit the accept button once you finish reading it and download the firmware. So once the file is downloaded to your computer, you're gonna unpack the file from the folder. You're gonna transfer the file to your memory card and once it's finished transferring, you're gonna safely eject it and insert the memory card into your camera. Once you insert your memory card, head over to the camera setup menu. And at the top, you'll see format memory card. You're gonna to wanna to hit up and that will take you directly to firmware version. Once firmware version is highlighted, press okay. This is gonna show you the firmware version of the lens and of the camera, which is noted as C. This is telling you that it's at version 2.0. To update to version 2.2, select update, hit okay and then press up on the D-pad to yes, and select yes to update to version 2.0. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to update. You're gonna to wanna, to, again, make sure your battery is fully charged, and it's gonna give you a little warning on the screen. Once it's completed, the camera is gonna notify you upon a completion, and that's where you're gonna be able to turn the camera off and turn the camera back on to use. Now, once the firmware has completed, you can check that the camera has updated to the latest firmware by going back to the setup menu and firmware version. Uh, this is where you're gonna see that it says version 2.20. Uh, but I wanna make sure that everybody is aware when you're in the process of updating the firmware, make sure not to turn the camera off until it has completed. Now, the second portion of the firmware update, in my mind, is one of the most exciting for the Nikon Z6 and Z7. Now, ProRes RAW is gonna give you the most amount of information directly from your imaging sensor to be able to capture the most amount of detail for your video, uh, to be able to edit and grade your footage. And this is gonna be great for any content creator, whether you're an advanced shooter or a professional. So unlike the version 2.2 update for your cameras, this is gonna require you to send your camera into Nikon for the ProRes RAW update. You'll be happy to know that if you purchase the Filmmaker kit for the Z6, the upgrade is gonna be free. You're still gonna to have to pay for shipping. If you purchase a Z6 or Z7 body only or with the lens, you will have to pay $200 for the firmware update. In my mind, it's well worth the $200 to get raw video capture if you're looking for the best quality video. I'll show you the steps on how to send in your camera to Nikon for the ProRes RAW update, but Nikon does recommend upgrading your camera to version 2.2 before doing that. 
To ship your camera to Nikon, just head over to the upgrade page on NikonUSA.com. We've included the links in the description box below and fill out the form. Once you've completed the online registration, Nikon will email you with further instructions. Now, if you're not in the US, please check with your local Nikon website to receive information about this upgrade. Once Nikon receives your camera, they'll perform the upgrade within 48 hours of receiving it, and you should have your camera back within three business days after the upgrade is complete. If I missed anything, or if you have any other questions regarding the firmware update, please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you with an answer. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. And if you're in Miami, come visit us here at the Didilgoja showroom. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.